Access granted. Step away from the console. Now! would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah, but you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub, in case it's booby-trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them.
Zeke hasn't found any juicy secrets yet, if that's what you mean. But... Lie to me. I don't want to hurt you. You're a civilian. But I will if you don't give me a choice. If you didn't want to hurt anyone, you should have stayed home tonight. Oh, look! Seraph's attack dog! You're here to clean up before the police bust in? He thinks we're breaking the law. Shut up! All you body polluters break laws. You're all the same. You're going to have a hard time convincing people you're any different once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factory labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Cholo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, Hunter. I've got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, you hear? But I gotta... I gotta check things out. So, mia la vieja, we're leaving. Shit. You're bigger than that. You don't kill civilians. Damn right. I'm a decorated vet. And I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady's my only ticket out of here. Listen to me. Whatever's going on, it's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with Ogs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what I must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that?
You just think that taking a hostage is your only way out of here. You're so committed to that tactic, you're not seeing any other solution. Let her go, and you will. Sorry, but I got no choice. I've got to exploit my advantage. And as long as I hold on to this lady here, you and the cops will be way too scared to come near me. Face it, you got outmaneuvered. The cops will be looking after civilians. They're too busy to worry about you. But if something happens to her, you will get their attention. Their priorities will shift, and all you'll accomplish is getting yourself killed. I know all that, damn it. One of your kind tricked my brother into manipulating me, and I have to make sure that they get what all kind openers deserve. I'm not wasting any more of my time arguing with you. Out of my way, freak. Nothing else to say! Listen, the hacker's plan was for you to die. He knew there would be civilians here tonight. He thought of everything. He used your brother because he knew you would trust him. That's how well he knows you. He expected you to take a hostage. Just like he knew the cops would kill you for it. You're right. Damn! You know, he even asked me once about hostages. I told him I would if I had to. I thought I had to hear, but I can't afford to, can I? Go on, get out of here. You're free to go. I did what you wanted. So let me go. I got played here too, I see. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cameron. Yeah, well... Maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this. Someone's gonna pay. What's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. Copy. Jensen out. My wife, she's still in there. I, I, I need to know that she's okay. We'll have to wait until the building is secure. You know, back up, and let's swap. You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen. And not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No. They pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. 
You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth about you. Megan? What are you talking about, Malik? Before you were hired. She said the papers were lying about Mexican Town. That you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. Nice to see she was right. You ready to go? Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is my command. Climb in. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones, to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try him out, what do you think? I'm not gonna lie and say they didn't come in handy back there. But like you said, I didn't choose to get augmented. So it'll take some getting used to. I get it. But don't be surprised if the boss keeps pushing you to get more. Why? What do you mean? You know how he is. He thinks augmentations are the be-all, end-all of everything. And he can't understand why someone wouldn't want to become more than human. Megan used to say the same thing. I'm not surprised. The research she was doing was pretty damn inspired. Might have convinced a lot more people to give what we make here a try. If... If that bastard hadn't killed her. Listen, Jensen. I know you want to find the men who attacked us, and so do I. If I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the IntelliCams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending. And Mr. Seraph is not pleased. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack... 
Or is it just to destroy Megan's research? Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. I'm gonna find him, Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. I think it's disgusting how public opinion has turned on me. By for a second, he was with Purity first. I think someone slipped him into second. Well, well. If it isn't Attila the Hun, fresh from the killing fields. If this is about the Typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the Typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. David and Hugh Darrow? My breath waiting for the Detroit PD to get answers. Bill Gates and Steve Jobs talk about it. I bet he's trying to convince him to come out of hiding. Make a statement that will counteract the attack. Darrow is not hiding. I'm telling you, Hugh. He might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand. But it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. to see me yeah how you feeling I've had better days well when we're done here check him at dr. Markovic at the limb clinic downtown get her to get a checkup if you insist listen about Sanders yeah about Sanders what the hell were you thinking letting him slip away like that I sent you in there to take care of things You asked me to deal with the situation, and that's what I did. I see. I'm also starting to see why your superiors in the police force decided to blame you for the Mexican town riots. Christ, Adam. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who 
and why. So that it never happens to anybody again. Good, cause so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body. No matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. You've still got friends in the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. You got it. Remember me? No, no, that sounds too good. Anyone got a look at it. Hey, Jensen. Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah, tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I, uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's techs, we started sneaking out some neuropocene from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired. Worse, arrested, if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just, it's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. What is it exactly you need me to do? I need you to get back that security footage Tyndall has on me. It's probably in his apartment. On his computer, maybe. So what? I just look him up in the phone book? His apartment is near Brooklyn Court. It might be tough to get in because his building has a large security gate protecting it. Well, that's just great. Hacking the security gate is possible, but would require advanced hacking skills. You might have to look around for an alternate path. Maybe use the fire escape or something. All right. Tell me more. Really? Wow. Thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. I got it from here. Mrs. Reed? Oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? 
Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. But this is where you work. But to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me, either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you, after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? I never asked for this. They say they saved me, but I'm not sure saved is the right word. I understand your anger. I wouldn't take too kindly to people making that kind of decision for me, either. But that being said, I, for one, am glad that you're still among us. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. You're not the same, Adam. And we've yet to see if it's for better or worse. But I know you loved Megan. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. and hook me up with some real tight merch. Those art lovers get in my face now, I'm ready to pop. Grace, where he at? Yo, where you been, man? Hello there. Well, you must be Adam Jensen. A keen observation. Mrs. Reed told me you might pay me a visit. And don't take this the wrong way, but you're kind of hard to miss. I'll try to take that as a compliment. She told me you might have information regarding Megan Reed's case and the attack on Seraph headquarters. Oh boy, what a mess. Total pissing match. We had the feds on our ass, orders from three different departments, and pressure from so many lobbyists it felt like being the scrawny new kid in a prison shower. It is a very high-profile case. Mrs. Reed said you thought some procedures were overlooked. You got that right. I mean, you know how it is. Mrs. Reed told me you used to be a cop. There's always cases where you see the lazy officers taking shortcuts. But this... 
This was different. Different how? Too much stuff got overlooked. People seemed way too eager to jump to conclusions, and every time I was remotely insistent, I got turned down by ranking officers. People wanted to bury this thing fast. That's never a good sign. Surely you have something more substantial than this. Yeah, well, that's where you come in. I got a couple of leads I could never fully investigate. I started poking around, but these government-type agents just gave me the creeps. I, I got scared. Months away from retirement, I didn't want to fuck things up. But you? You obviously have the means to get to the bottom of this. So what have you got? First off, there's a rumor that the order to close the investigation came from higher up. Maybe even outside the local department. Anything like that would have passed through Captain Penn. There might be traces of this left on his office computer. Guess I'll have to pay a visit to the local precinct. Yeah, well, while you're there. There was an officer assigned to the case, Chet Wagner. He's not what you call a choir boy. And when he suddenly got brought on the case, I got suspicious. Somebody wanted him there. And I'm pretty sure he tampered with some of the evidence. You should talk to him. Find out what he knows. Okay. I'll have a little chat with Officer Wagner. You'll most likely find him in the lobby. He got retrograded from his conduct, and he takes depositions now. He won't budge easily, but I'm pretty sure you can find some dirt on him on his desktop. His office is on the third floor. You might find something there to help loosen up his tongue. Anything else worth looking into? Yeah, when the order came down to close the case, the bulk of the evidence was stashed in a storage locker. Maybe you can find some interesting stuff in there. It's on the alley right next to the station. The code is 40... 4891. But I know an outside agency had access to that locker, so be careful. Thanks for the heads up. Bah, it's, it's nothing. And, uh, oh, uh, please. Don't bother coming back here with details. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad to help. But the less I know about this case, the better I'll feel. That's all I need for now. Eliza is so hot. You're crazy. Yeah, she is. Adam? You got that neural hub yet? You're asking me to pull up a heist, boss. Inside a police station. It's gonna take time. Right. Well, if you can't talk your way past the lobby, there's gotta be another entrance outside. In back or on the roof. Save the frontal assault as a last resort. Yeah, yeah, hang on just a sec. Shit. Jensen? Haas. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, well, I guess you're better at looking out for yourself than I am. I don't have time for your self-pity. I need to get into the morgue. That's it? Ah, oh, forget it. I don't know what's going on with that body down there, but my orders come from the brass. No one gets in. First thing you say to me after almost two years is you want something? Should I have given you an order? You've always been very good at following those. God damn. Where do you get off being so self-righteous? You think I like this? Look at me. From SWAT team commander to a crummy desk sergeant in the Tubit precinct. I don't need this from you. I get enough of it at home. So either come up with something better than your usual attitude, or you can just forget it, because you came to me. Okay, look, you're angry, and you've got a right to be. 
I'm putting you in a bad position, but I have to get inside that morgue. I won't let it get back to you. I'm always in a bad position. I don't see how I can possibly do this. There's so much heat right now, I'm telling you. The moment I open that door, I'm finished. I just got my life back together. This job is all I have. Don't make me do this. And you're right, it's not my risk to take. So I'm not gonna force you to do anything and I won't hold it against you. And what happened two years ago, I know it's killing you. We should talk about it sometime. You would do that? It all comes back to the kid, doesn't it? We were given a direct order, Jensen. So I took the shot. I followed orders. He was augmented, an unknown factor. He was too much of a risk. Okay, look, I've handled this all wrong from the minute I walked in. I guess, I guess I wasn't prepared to face the past and how much it screwed everyone up, myself included. How can I start this again? I don't know. I wasn't exactly prepared to face it either. I guess, I guess I need a little time to mull it over. So just go away for now. Come back when I've had a chance to think. Hello? I don't know. I heard there was a demonstration at the limb clinic. Now it's not a good time. Come back later. Listen, I can't promise anything. Not right now. Yeah? What do you want? Information. Then go bother the receptionist, Chrome Boy, instead of wasting my goddamn time. Not that kind of information. I want to know about the Seraph Industries case. Ha <laughs> ha! And I want a blowjob in a vintage 05 bar GT, so I guess we both keep on dreaming. Huh, metalhead? You talk tough, but we both know that's all you can do. Deep down, you're nothing but a coward. Well, trust me, tough guy. I'm the real thing. If you don't give me what I want, I won't beat you up. I'll kill you. Ah, uh, now listen, man, we... We obviously got off on the wrong foot here, right? I don't want no trouble. Talk. Okay, look. I just came in one morning and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well, it's not crystal clear, but... Mainly, it shows the boys who attacked Seraph as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell why. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And nobody asks questions. You just do what they say, and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. Sounds good. You desire to stand in front of the General Assembly with David Seraph. United in their cause to find a common ground. Should that day ever come to pass, one cannot help but wonder if no terrorists... Oh, great. Twice in one day. The terrorist in the morgue. I have to see him. First of all, lose the attitude. Second, you gotta give me some kind of reason I should risk my neck with the feds over you. You're not my favorite person in the world. Okay, look, you're angry, and you've got a right to be. I'm putting you in a bad position, but I have to get inside that morgue. I won't let it get back to you. I'm always in a bad position. I don't believe this. I just got my life back together and you show up. When's it gonna end? You know the moment I open that door, it's all over, right? I'll be lucky if all that happens is I get fired. Is it really that important?
Yes, your job is at risk. Yes, you've taken the blame for what happened in the past, but look, I need your help. And it's important. You got my word, whatever happens, I'll take care of you. That's good to hear. Look, I am so tired of having that incident wrapped around my throat. Yeah, I killed a kid. He was augmented. He was a threat. That's what you do. We had civilians to protect. I don't need people always second-guessing me on that. We all make mistakes, Wayne. Nobody blames you for it. You have to believe that and forgive yourself or you'll never put it behind you. I... I'm not ready. What happened wasn't my fault. You were in command, but when they told you to take the shot, you refused. So they told me. You and I, we were trained to follow orders, Jensen. I couldn't say no. I wasn't strong enough. Adam, please. I need to hear you say it wasn't my fault. Wayne, it was a bad situation. You didn't do anything wrong. Adam, I... Thanks. The door's unlocked. I'll tell the guys to let you through. Now, uh... I need to be alone for a while. Access granted. 